Okay, I'd like to talk about the case of Madeleine McCann and um, look at a question in particular about Madeleine McCann's parent supporters, by the McCann supporters. Um, my question is, do they not see the lies told? When I did the original analysis on that documentary, um, the reaction was tremendous. And what, by tremendous, I mean by volume-wise. And it ranged from everything from many people having a certain type of opinion down to a few who had a very different opinion. Um, and a lot of those opinions meant personal attacks and um, accusations. Uh, we had one man who had gone back to university for a degree in psychology who was contacting superiors of detectives who have given recommendations for my work. He was attempting to intimidate, obviously. Um, just an unbalanced person who should not be around children at risk, which was what he was going towards. But we're looking especially at the early interviews those that vehemently defend the McCanns are willing to say what the McCanns themselves were not willing to say. That's how strange this is. I'm going to look at the, the emotional increase there. Now, um, I don't know how Madeline died. I know from the parents that she was not alive, and I know from the parents that they hid the body incredibly well from their own language, from Kate's own language. But I don't know how she died. I have an idea, but I don't know specifically. I think, and it's based upon language, that she was sedated so they could go out. Out of anything that Kate could talk about with her last hours with Madeline, was she went to the mouth. She went to giving her something to eat. Um, and that's an indication for me. The fact that she was an anesthesiologist um, means something as well, but um, I don't know that for sure. So the reactions to this at times can really be quite um, quite a roller coaster. I spent quite a lot of time, and others have to, deleting comments and blocking on Facebook and that sort of thing because of where it goes. But most people here have reacted with some form of openness. Um, some of it, I knew it. I knew that. I just didn't know how to say that. Well, what happened was, why are people who believe the McCanns inadvertently, for example, killed their daughter, why are they so angry? Why are they still following this case for all these years? It's the fault of the McCanns. So, uh, of the many, um, thank you for the analysis, it, it's really great. Um, I think I knew this all along. And then down a little tier is those that I was undecided, and I see it now. And then down a few more tiers would be those that um, said, you know, I've always believed they didn't do it. And in listening to you, not interpret their words, but just listen to them, I now see differently. And then lastly, we have the few who, um, who appear to me to be obsessed with a cause. And this is actually very sad. Um, it's not so much that they believe the parents. It's that belief in the parents is their cause in life. And this is usually caused by some, some form of severe vacuum in their lives. And so they will... Um, post nasty insults and taunts and um, try to cause trouble any way they can. Try to silence dissent. But down here among the few, the anger is acute and it's as if an entire life is dedicated to saying for the McCanns what the McCanns were incapable of saying for themselves. And they see anyone who doesn't agree with them as an enemy. The emotion is such that it seems to never cool off. And what does that tell you about their opinion of the analysis? I believe many of them, from looking at their words, 
for the deletions. <laughs> um, the level of rage is out of fear that they know this wonderful looking couple, this handsome couple of professionals really did it. But I believe from their language that they know. And it is as if to bring harm to who they identify themselves to be, like some kind of champion catcher in the rye, savior of children. Um, the McCanns are free to file a suit against me, which I believe would allow me to ask questions of them as well. I think that the level of rage, the personal animosity, is such that it is a cover for the fear of knowing you know, she's not kidnapped, she's not age progressed someplace, and she's not waiting for the cans to go and find her. And then that becomes the bottom line. When it becomes a cause in life, um, there's much wrong with that behind the scenes.